Hey everybody, um, this is a reading for same-sex females, um, so if you identify as a woman and you are also interested in someone who identifies as a woman, and if you are single. So there are a lot of messages with this, like a lot. So, this side is you, this side is the person you're interested in, and the center is you, the two of your energy together. <clears throat> Take this off. Um, yeah, so basically, this person almost feels like they're not good enough for you, or like you don't like them, um, but they're very interested in you, and they have their eye on you. And I think you don't even necessarily have them, like, you have them in your radar for sure, you're interested in them, but you haven't, like, you haven't made any moves or anything because you also feel like, for some reason, you, like, you both feel like each other is out of your league. And I also think that you're focusing on a lot of different things right now. I think you're focusing on yourself. And, um... <clears throat> you're manifesting a lot, so you have a lot going on, so the people around you, like, you might not be as aware of the people around you because you're focusing on self, so you might not even have picked up how much this person is actually interested in you. No, I'm feeling it, actually. You feel it, but they haven't said it, so you haven't done anything because it's, like, it's scary. It's scary to approach someone for the first time, so... Yeah, so here you are wanting change with with the movement of this um, situation and pushing forward, but at the same time you have your back turned. So like, and we also have um, the Knight of Wands and this is death. So um, your focus is more on like, not that, like, not that relationships aren't important, but your focus is on things that are more important to you as an individual right now, and you're strongly manifesting them, and the, this is the magician. And uh, the things around you are kind of falling into place perfectly, and you're first, for the first time, recognizing the material and physical manifestation of the law of attraction. Which means, finally, all of your spells and stuff are starting to show in the physical realm. And, um, <clears throat> or even, like, positive thinking. If you've been thinking more positive lately, you're finally starting to get a payoff from that. You're seeing, you're finally starting to see the results. If you've been eating better, you're finally starting to see the results. So, whatever it is that you're doing, you're seeing. <clears throat> you're, you're, uh, making progress. And your back is kind of turned to romance right now because you're really, you're building a lot of really big, solid things for yourself in your life. However, you both have your sights set on each other. You are very, like, you're very attracted to this person. You really, really like the way that they look. And let me tell you, if you have any concerns about if they like the way you look, they, they really like the way you look. They like the way you look, too. They're into it, for sure. If you've been unsure if they're into you and, like, your personality, if they even like you, like, no, they want your attention. Because I think that this person gets quite a bit of attention from a lot of people, and because your focus is on self and doing big things, they're not getting the kind of attention they would usually receive. So it's almost like a challenge to them to try and get your attention, however, at the same time, because you don't just fall all over them and drool all over them and give them this attention that the people around them so often do, it makes them feel inadequate in some way and makes them almost feel like you're not interested or like they're not good enough for you, like they're not mature enough, I'm getting, they're not old enough, maybe you're older than them, um... Maybe you're the same age, but you've seen more life. You have more experiences. Maybe you have more of an education. There's something that they, that feels unapproachable about you. Um, maybe you're very confident. Uh, but yeah, so two of pentacles 
and the Queen of Wands, Lilith. So it's like you both see each other as a prize and as something that you really want. Like you really want each other. <laughs> and this is like my version of Cupid's arrow. Like you've got your sights set on the Queen, Lilith, the Queen of Wands. The you're I think you're both like spiritual people. However, I think that you are a little farther along on your spiritual journey and you've gained a little more knowledge and they find this intimidating because just as you can feel the magic and the spirituality in them, they can feel it around you too and it's like nothing they've ever really felt before. Um, but yeah, over here on their side, that was the two of you, your energies combined. Um... Over here on their side, we have the Page of Wands, which is the Necromancer, and that goes along with these two, because we have the Knight, this is you right here, this is them. So we have the Knight of Wands and Death, and then here we have the Page of Wands and the Necromancer, which look what he's doing, he's trying to control a skeleton, what do we have here, a skeleton. So, and look at all the lightning in the back. Like, this is dramatic. This is a big deal to them because they're used to attention. Maybe they're a Leo. <laughs> no shade to Leos, but come on, Leos, you love attention. Um, anyway, so this person usually can easily manipulate those around them and get them to do whatever they want, basically. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means they're a charming and charismatic person that can get what they want. However, because they're not immediately getting it with you, um, they are the page, not not the knight. Like, you're a knight, you're a step ahead of them. Pages are more immature, they're younger, they have more learning to do. So it's like, this person's been going along their path, like, successfully manipulating people and doing doing everything they needed to do and, like, never getting turned down. And then they come across you and you don't phase them because... Although you're very similar, look at all your similarities, um, I mean, they don't phase you, not you don't phase them. They don't phase you because it's like, I think you are into the theory of oneness, and I think that you have deep, spiraling knowledge, and um, I don't know, you see yourself in others, and you, you just see things for what they are. And this person you're very attracted to, but you're almost in hermit mode right now. You're quietly um, just going along your way and doing what you need to do to make your life the best version that it could be. And this person just isn't used to not being show-stopping to someone. Um, interesting. Uh, okay. They, this is making them a little emotional, um, but at the same time it's because they feel for you, like they feel you and they want to be with you. They also, like, they want to hook up. They do. You want to hook up with them too, I can see it in the cards. Y'all want to hook up with each other, um, <laughs> so do something. I almost feel like it's a stalemate, like I think you guys talk, but I think that Neither of you, you both make each other nervous, and neither of you necessarily knows how to approach the other or what to say. So your talk is, the way you talk is, um, little like, hey, how you doing? How's the weather? Like, little conversations, nothing real. So this is kind of like, they want to get to know you and they want to get to know you better. They're ready to start talking. <laughs> They're ready to have real conversations, and I think you are too, it's just not your main priority. They're starting to get frustrated. They feel like they're doing all this work. They feel like they're doing all this work trying to get your attention and there's nothing to show for it, so now they're getting frustrated. Looking at all the work that they've been doing. But that doesn't mean they're going to give up because this was a challenge and they, uh, they want to win. They're that kind of person. Again, I see the fire here. I think you might be a water sign and they might be a fire sign. A um, lot of fire. A lot of fire. We had the two of wands here and the king of cups there. A lot of fire and water. 
think that's because you guys are very passionate human beings. And when your passions collide, it's very, like, it's strong. However, if you are fire and water, one of the readers that I really like was just talking about when fire and water get together, it it comes together passionately and then it kind of burns out quickly because what do you, what do you get when you add fire to water? You get steam. So it's like, it's there and it's passionate and you feel it. But it's gone like that. So just be mindful of that, I guess. However, this is definitely divinely guided. This card to me means that... Because in um, the original deck, it's two... It, well, it's three people looking all in one direction. And I usually take that as, like, humans and spirit. Um, and they're in, like, a whole... A, holy place. So I usually take that as humans and spirit working together on a goal facing the same direction. So perhaps in the past you didn't, the people that you were interested in were not necessarily for your, had your highest and greatest good in mind or in at all. They just didn't care. And spirit was not on the same page as you. The people you were interested in previously Spirit was not a huge fan of. Um, they didn't like the way they treated you. And now, finally, y'all have your sights set on the same kind of human, on the same soul. However, you need to, to like, get off that wheel. Get off the wheel of fortune. Get off and make a move. Look, more fire. Fi how many fire cards? One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, five, yeah, five, five fire cards. Okay, so, oh, six. So you need to get off the wheel and, um, you have to talk. You have to start asking the kind of questions that you care about. You have to start getting deeper. You have to start learning more learning shaman so we have the wheel of fortune the inquisitor and then we have the five of pentacles with the shaman y'all will both feel left out in the cold and sad and feel like the other doesn't like you until you open up your mouth and start talking and start having deeper conversations you need to learn more about each other and you need to get it's time <coughs> it's nighttime it's getting dark. It's time to build your fire before you freeze. The situation isn't going to go anywhere until you open your mouth, or until they open their mouth. I think you're afraid to make a move, um, which makes sense because, you know, if you have a friend, if you're a girl and you have a friend who's a girl and you are interested in them as more than a friend... Sometimes it's scary to, like, think about having to lose that person as a friend if they respond really poorly to that. However, you will never know unless you say something, right? So now your goddess energies... I leaned on this with my elbow. It makes me sad. It, like, crinkled it. <laughs> your goddess energies are Pomona and Release. So, and, um, Ixchel, I think is how you say that. So release. Plenty and release. So if you have any doubts about whether or not this person is interested in you, understand that they're interested in you plenty. Literally plenty. Like they see you. I, I know all of these cards pretty much are goddesses in this deck, but I see her as like, that's what, when I was a small child, that's what I pictured a goddess to look like. You know, like the ancient... Greek goddesses, that's the first thing that came to mind. So, um, and I don't know if she's from Greece, Greece, but she, that's how she looks to me. Um, some sort of Mediterranean. But anyway, it's like this person finds something so beautiful about you and something like, they find you very nostalgic. Maybe you are closer, maybe they're not too much younger than you, maybe they just are a little more immature than you, but, like, you have the same things in common because you're close in age. Like, you have the same interests or, like, you watch the same, 
like, cartoons and shit when you were kids, or you just, you vibe, you're on the same page a lot, and they really love that about you, and you, like, are just so ready to, you're ready to release this feeling onto this person, let them know how you feel, and you're just, like, ready to move on to the, <clears throat> like, you're ready to move on to the physical aspect of the relationship, because that's also what release means to me. It's like, some fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, this person finds you to be very nurturing and nostalgic, as I said. Like, there's something about you that makes him feel very safe. And, um, they really, really appreciate you. But... They're, right now, they're trying to figure out how to be the champion to get your attention. Because, like, look, this is them looking in the mirror, recognizing their self-worth and appreciating themselves. And look at all these men, are, like, all those shadows there. <laughs> those are all men. This is men. Maybe this person is constantly surrounded by boys and dudes. And you feel like they don't necessarily like you because or like girls because they're kind of like... They chill with dudes, but that doesn't mean that they don't like girls or that they don't like you. You gotta start investigating. Um, yeah, so here are all these people. We'll say people. Maybe they're surrounded by women, too. We have all these people around them who want to give them attention and think they're pretty and, like, think they're funny and charismatic and, like, like they can't lose. So when you... <clears throat> they're over here trying to make a plan, like... To win over your heart and make themselves look so good in your eyes and get your attention. They're, figure they're paying attention to you to figure out what it is that you like so that they can get your attention and do something nice for you, maybe. Or <clears throat> they're just paying attention all the time. Even when you think they're not paying attention, trust, they're paying attention. If you catch their eye a lot, like, that's because they're looking at you. <laughs> they're keeping an eye on you because they think you're... They think you're what they want. Let's pull a couple romance cards. Just a couple. And then we'll be done. Okay. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Make a move. <clears throat> take control of the situation. You've been working really hard on yourself. You're like... You're ready. It's time. But... You have to let them in. You have to flirt. You have to, like... You gotta give them a clue because they're not gonna make a move. And, like... I actually think they do flirt with you. I think they kind of, like, heavily flirt with you. But at the same time, for some reason, you're not sure. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's really cool. They... So, also, they... Like, how I said they think you're nurturing, like, there's Hathor, she's the mother, she's pregnant there, and I always think about these two as being pregnant, the way he's got his hands on her stomach and stuff, and on the box, there's angels on the front, and they're, like, pointing at her stomach, so, I almost feel like maybe you're a mom, or you take care of children, or maybe you're just very, very kind to people and loving like a mother would be. Yeah, they find this very attractive. <laughs> they find your compassion very attractive. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And they find your ignoring of them, not ignoring of them, but being um, wrapped up in the rest of life. They find that very fucking hot. It makes them want you more because they can't have you right the second that they want you. And maybe they want to create a family with you. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. they do. Oh my god, that just—I just felt that. I just got like excited. Oh, did you hear that weird noise I made? Well, usually these cards aren't that nice. Like they. Usually, I'm sorry, cards. I shouldn't say that. Now that I, I want them to keep being nice. So, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then engagement. Your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, they want you. They feel you and you feel them and they want a family with you. Right when I said that they want a family with you, engagement came out. That they want you. They want, they want it all with you. 
You guys gotta talk more. Let's see. Just a couple more. That was fun. Ooh. Flirt! I said flirt. I said flirt. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. Yeah, what am I telling you to do? I'm telling you to talk. I'm telling you to flirt with them. Like, they want to fuck you. I just go, whew, I just got that really, like, oof. Okay, they want to, they want you. So, extend your lighthearted energy. I'm sorry that I swear. I'm, I just, it comes out. I, whatever pops in my head comes out. So, if that makes you upset, if that makes you feel like, uncomfortable. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I'm just really picking up on the energies around me and this person is deeply attracted to you and really, really wants you. So if you're feeling bad about yourself in any way, try not to. Ah, yes. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe you usually like dudes, and right now you like a girl, and they're saying, good, keep an open mind, because your soulmate, whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. I was just going like this, and it flew out of my hand. Yeah, keep an open mind, man. Whoa, whoa, man. Keep an open mind. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, remember? You want to kiss them? You want to give them, oh yeah you do, you want to give them like a really nice kiss. Wow, this energy is kind of invasive. Wedding, yo. Wedding, engagement. Start the conversation because this card literally says this situation involves marriage. Alright, one more. Whew, this energy is so strong. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, when this person comes around, Spirit's advice right here is saying, when this person comes around, make sure that you continue to do all of the things that you've been doing, pursuing your own career and doing the best things for yourself. Make sure to stay self-sufficient and stay the person that you are now. When they come around and you get in this relationship, don't necessarily, like, rush too fast or anything. And, yeah, don't let them in too quickly, for sure. And also, not to say don't let them in emotionally, but don't, don't go, don't cross certain boundaries too quickly. And also, um, continue to to fight for yourself and do what's best for yourself and stay self-focused because one if you get too distracted by this spirit will take it away because you're finally on your life path and they can't have it screwed up right now so keep a good balance and stay self-focused and also how self-focused you are remember is one of the reasons why this person is attracted to you so if you start to lose this path, they're not going to be as attracted to you and spirit will take this away because you will show them that you're not ready for it. So your self-respect, continue to respect yourself and continue climbing upwards and growing and don't, don't let this become your everything. But yeah, this was a beautiful, amazing, gorgeous reading. Like this energy between the two of you is really beautiful and I'm really happy for you. And, um, yeah, that's awesome. I felt super compelled to do this for some reason. Um, I know I do have viewers, um, who are in, um, who are L LGBTQ. Um, but anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate you. I have freaking 19 whole subscribers now. So that's like really exciting. Um, yeah. And I will see you at least. I mean maybe I'll start making these monthlies. I don't know. If you really liked it and you want it to be a monthly thing. Leave a comment please. And um, like if you liked. Subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you another time. Bye.